que Just waiting one second to start, okay? I have to restart the, the video, so just one more minute. Let's start it. Well, well uh, this is very different kind of teaching for me, and uh, it's like I don't know what's happening at our side. So the the idea today here is like uh, I don't want to, you know, teach any of you guys. There's a lot of great karateka watching it. So uh, how to kick a migri and stuff like that. Well, uh, what I'm going to try to show you guys is the way I think about karate and the way I practice karate, my daily training and, and how I use it for me, my body, I'm 64 kilograms and I know that some people uh, already heard, we probably heard something that I'm going to say here, it's kind of, uh, I have to say something that I used to say in some seminars but it's important because there's so many guys that don't know me so I, uh, I'm sorry for this guy that already had a seminar or had a chance to stay with me uh, that I have to repeat some of the ideas but the, the purpose here is to uh, just 
explain how I think about karate. I'm not saying that I am right. Everyone is right. And sometimes I probably will say, no, this is, doesn't work, or this is not, not good. Uh, don't take it personal, right? It's just uh, of the heat of the teaching that we talk about that, okay? So, uh, the first thing that I think about karate is like, uh, uh, why we practice karate? I mean, what's the idea of karate? It's, for me, it's like, every time I do a technique, it's the always to throw my body mass to the target. So that's the whole idea. Kihon, Kata and Kumite is a consequence of that, okay? And as I said in the, in the film, your karate must work for real. So it's totally different, okay? So let's start some basic moves, okay? Okay, Tatishito, left hand, okay? And each, and then turn your hips, each Tatishito, okay? Each and each 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 um, um, just one thing uh, very important okay what we are training here it's exactly Yatsuki okay if you stay like Hami like this way right and you go to Zen Sudachi you're in Hami right and then you go Shomen and you are Shomen so this is just like Yatsuki. So, what you have to feel it is like when you punch with your right hand, right? Your, your right arm. Just use it. Your right leg. And the most important thing is like why you turn in the hips? Why karate you turn hips? You have hip movement. It's just for one simple reason. You move your hips because you stand in the same place and you're transferring your body mass to the punch. That's why you turn in the hips. So everything must, you know, must be together. It seems like, a, uh, it seems like, oh, of course. No, no, it's not kind of of course. I always ask, why you guys turn the hips? And people say, because it's stronger, because it's more power. But the, 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 you turn the hips to, to, you know, just to, and just to throw your body mass to the punch, okay? So let's do this exercise, think about that, not just... Because you have a lot of guys with good hip, hip movement, but they don't have power on the punch or kick. So they do like this. It never works, okay? So bam, bam, using your body mass, okay? Bam, to the full. The most you can do it to the punch, okay? Even if you're tired, Okay, so let's do it, okay? my glasses a question so uh, two points this is very important right so understand that you have to make power with the hips but what's power in karate again you're gonna hear all the time how many uh, like throw your body mass that's the purpose okay all the training will be like this just keep this in mind. Another thing is very important. Guys, uh, karate is a martial art. So, when you step in the dojo, everything changes. This is very important, you know? Because if you lose that, karate will die. It's dying already. So, we have to keep it. The dojo, the atmosphere must be totally different. So, eyes. It's very important to focus in one place. Bam! Right? You train your own spirit when you focus. Don't go. It's usually people go. No, you're inside the dojo. You're not doing sport, you're doing martial arts. So you must try. So you have 20 repetitions. Try five. Focus your looking. Looking on a point. Keep it on point. Bam! Bam! Okay? Okay? Oh. I don't know if you guys are training, but let's do the other side, okay? And I eat and come back. Use it, use your hips. Guys, 
just got the idea. Your power must throw all your, all your body. Okay? Oh, my phone is in the vertical. I don't know if you can see it nicely. So, anyway, do that. Okay? So, the idea of turn your hips is to throw your body mass to the punch. Okay? So, it's totally wrong and that's no good if you go like this. Look at my hips. Because you have a nice move, but you're not throwing. You're not throwing your body to the punch. Okay? This is very important. So that's totally different when I'm doing a kind of theater here so you guys can see, okay? This is one thing. I used to, when I was younger, I had a very fast hip rotation, but the guy never felt anything when I punched because it wasn't separated, you know? I go like, boom, boom. No. So now, you can imagine when you turn your hips, boom, 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 boom. So, two things important, right? So, you 
moving your hips to throw your body mass, right? Don't pull your arms so fast. Pow, relax. Okay? So now, I do come back. Three stands. Fight! Left leg, okay? Now, what are you gonna do? Jodan Kisamizuki each. Oh, my God. Oh, no. 
maquiada into both. Just think of it. So, Kizamzuki must be. Oh, that's how we have to train in the Bodo. Must be. He fall. Down! He didn't fall at so, all. Down! He did it. So, it, it doesn't mean that if you feel tired when you're training, you can do slowly. But the idea must be that, you know? So, it's, it's, it's very important at all. Many people, again, not Kizam Zuki, not like this. Hey! Boom! Can you imagine the street? If you have something on the street, you have to finish the guy, then you, then you go like this. Like 
we see a lot of people showing things on Facebook and YouTube and we see many techniques I don't know how many guys how many of you fought in the street you know but uh, you can see that many things doesn't work even even when you do bunkai and kata you can see many many position kata doesn't have any meaning I mean it doesn't work and and, uh, and you can imagine you, people do bunkai think about another karate guy coming through you on the street you don't know who you're gonna find you know so all this come from karate techniques but it's crazy so if you start to think a lot you, you can see many things that doesn't make sense so anyway we're gonna talk to this later okay 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 I you come on come on okay so let's keep the same idea okay of your body mass so you're gonna do your kogeri kiage each and then that's okay and then come as um keep keep pointing on keep looking to a point okay don't look like this okay just I, I am looking like this because I'm trying to read I have to see everyone but you guys try to focus especially when you're doing your training or those okay and then go each so when you punch when you punch Remember to throw all your body mass to the punch. Bam! Don't stay still like this. When you finish, bam! You come like this and and do command and punching stuff. Okay? So let's do a little bit. Don't don't, don't have to do it strong. Just feel your body. Okay? And each, bam! Too close. 
Okay? So, again, yeah. Again, so, okay. So you have, okay, the same idea. Turn your hips. You turn your hips when you're in the same place. You're not moving. So you have to make power, make your hips turn. Um, um, okay? You see that I punch and my arm come together. I don't touch foot and back, you know? It's like all together. Um, relax, come back. Okay? And then we have one step forward. Like your ski, you just move your body mass to front. Punch. Two, okay? Remember, relax. Okay? And then, pressure. Sorry. Uh, again. You put, you compress, and then release. Okay? But the all, all idea, all idea to throw your body mass to the target, okay? Guys, I'm sorry you guys have heard this before many times, but this is so important, you know, I believe it's too much, you know, it's very, very important, okay? And I don't know if Scott Sensei is still there, but I'm going to talk about anchoring, too. Uh, so, I'm just doing, uh, you got the idea of punch, right? So, the same when you, when you block, for example, when you do it, I don't know if you guys can see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Much careful, yes. Okay, same thing when you go. You see? I threw my body mass to get them by I didn't move like this. No. You see? This is very important. If I'm like this much, I'm not able to do it unless I'm, too, I'm much, much, much stronger than him. I usually get guys who are always bigger than me. It's unbelievable. But you know what? So if you keep that pressure, right? This is real. This is real. It's not like it's not going to work. You guys try it. And then you go. And then he's going to punch it. So, I don't want if you guys can see the body doing it, right? Because, again, again, oh, okay? What I, mean, what I mean is like, you must, you know, you must explode. You must explode. Ah! Okay? Oh my God. Another thing that it's important, let's uh, I'm talk about all these, all these drills. I'm not teaching anyone how to do punch. I'm just giving an idea of karate, what people say budo karate, but many people don't know what budo karate is. Think it's just some two or three techniques. No, it's attitude. Okay, and it's use your body. Kata também the same. Okay, but for example, kumite. A lot of people. All right. It's, this is good. Okay, this is a good technique. All right.
can go out. What I'm saying is that every fight I am, I am training for like three years maybe, like bam, bam, I'm always block and, and try to hit. And I'm trying this on, on Kumite because I think it's work. And for me, sometimes it's pretty good because bam, and he comes, bam, I use my body mass and I'm always controlling the, the fight. So think about it. You always have two seconds, maybe, two, one second of thinking and explode your body. The eye is pretty good, but we have to open our karate, right? Open our mind and try another thing. Because we are always used to everybody already competed. So don't move back, don't move back, no! Don't move back, no! Always like this. So sometimes you have to, to open your mind and try another thing. And this is pretty good because, for example, the only problem we did in the mind, for example, he goes to that leash, come on again, but the leash, come on, right? So many people, they don't think about the contact, like they go like this. Go again. Go again. <laughs> Even me. So that's wrong. So, it's very important to practice. Bam, bam, bam. You know, you know why you, why you block and counter attack. You know why you do that? Because the counter attack must. It's like you have to be able to finish the fight. Was was created for that. So so you have a chance in your life like this. Bam. Finish it. Don't go like bam. Finish it. Okay, so when you do counter attacks, it's, it was made to finish the fight. You know? I love it. Here in Brazil, we block Gedan Barai for Chudan Ski. All the time. And I'm telling you, feels good. Feels good for fighting against me. Feels good. Feels good. We don't use too much so okay. You should try once. It's pretty powerful. So probably the guy doesn't want to look to punch again. Well the counter attack, okay? Uh, okay guys. Uh, I have only 20 minutes. Uh, I'm gonna talk very fast about uh, very fast about Kim. For example, my baby. Watch out when you guys keep my game. The same idea, alright? You throw your body mass, oh, right? To the target. Use it like a, use it like a, a bell, you know? I use it like that, you know? And I see many people kicking like this. Ah! Boom. No. Just, ah, ah. <laughs> You see? It's very powerful when you do the hips like this. Ah. Like a swinging, swinging. It's pretty good. So when you do, ah, ah, ah. what what I mean is like the idea is the same. I kick. I use my back foot like the the way we did it before with Zanchin. We use another technique. Okay, so I keep much really like my like this. Ah, okay, I go like. Ah, ah. Okay, even if I do more, you get it. Okay, so when you do kick, you must throw your body mass to the target. Mosh kick is the same. Mosh kick is the same. Don't go like this. It's like a step forward. So mosh kick is like a step forward. Okay, and then so. 108 degrees. Okay? So, it's like each. Okay, so you must feel it. Don't go like it. It doesn't work. If you're not able to kick high, good. Kick low, but kick, kick strong. Okay? But your body mass must go forward. Okay? This is very important, okay? Another thing, before we go through kata, another thing is like distance. 
Guys, many people, a lot of people, I don't know how many, they feel satisfied with the touch feeling. Don't be satisfied with the touch feeling. For example, I'm gonna keep Bosch getting right. I'm gonna do Bosch getting, okay? So, Bosch getting, I have this bridge here, okay? When many times the guy is gonna kick, the other one goes backward. And when the guy comes here, he speaks, he tries to touch him. Just to say, touch him.
So it's, it's, it's very important, okay? And you have to keep this, uh, this idea even in kata. And I see a lot of mistakes in kata that I, I want to talk about like five minutes with you. Probably many of you won't agree, you know? And uh, I, I, I'm not saying that sport karate is bad. No! Sport karate made a great and huge contribution to, to the karate ever in all styles. And we have a lot of great fighters and a lot of good karates. Uh, so I respect a lot. It's not, it's not my beach. I, I don't, maybe I'm too old for that. But I wish I could have the ability of these guys, you know. But it's not different. Just say my idea inside the dojo, how it, it has to be, okay? For example, oh, for example, we see, why you guys, why you guys practice kata, you know, like, uh, I see people worry about a lot with the uh, bunkai and stuff like that, you know? So, oh, well, bunkai is for self-defense, okay, but self-defense, you never, it's hard to meet another karate guy that's gonna attack you on the real life, you know? Uh, would be a, a lucky if you had one, so forget about it, you know? Uh, that it's like, what I think about kata is very simple. Uh, of course, we have to know Bunkai, we have to know the meaning, we have a lot of, we have one meaning and a lot of applications. Depends on your ideas. I'm a guy that don't, I don't have so much ideas for that. So, I, I just, I took a path to train kata. I chose a path to train kata. And I want to share with you guys, for example, uh, kata for me is just, it's like a, uh, it's just a, another part of kihon. It's just to build my body. I just want to build my muscle with some moves that you don't use in the, the usual kihon practice of basics. So we do another stuff. But I always do kata thinking the same way that I'm teaching here. Throwing my body master all, all the techniques, right? So that's why sometimes I don't feel like comfortable in the way some guys do kata and they try to explain it with some bunkai that doesn't make sense. Or make sense but doesn't gonna hit anyone. For example, or Renida, for example. For one example of the application of Renida, but the way I feel it is for example, of course, today KWF starts knee down, moving backward, okay? But let's talk about Shotokan Karate, not exactly KWF, okay? But I just some um, observation about that, okay? So for example, uh, what, what's the, what's the, the meaning is like, for example, uh, the meaning is like Jordan is huge. Bam, I get to Jordan. Sam, chi, right? This is the meaning. That's how you guys have to teach. You go block, block, broken arm, and then palm, okay? That's the basic, okay? But how you how you do that on Kurite, for example? It doesn't have to be exactly the same. When your body must work each, knee, sun, open, close, open, close, and you must be grounded. So what I do is like, for example, for me, what, what I do is like what I do what I do is like and then I do and then my body explodes every time. I don't know if you guys are able to see, so I'm trying to tie up like that. You guys, and I go like, Itch! Itch! You can see how I explode and I throw my body, my body mass in the target. So that's how I think when I'm doing Kenny Dunn for Kumite, right? And, and I love a Kenny Dunn. It's the best kata I, it's the only kata I train. So, for example, when you do that part of your Kuroheri and, and Shitoke, I always divide the techniques, right? I always divide the techniques. So most of the people they go each and they kick and they fall and they block. No, I think that you have to kick. Bam! Come! Bam! And then you block. You have to control after the kick. Bam! Itch! So this is how you work your body in the right way. This is just an example. Another example that's classic. To me, it's like angry. I hate to say this, but I'm gonna say maybe someone teach you something different. So that's why I always say that. For example, each, e, some, all the world move left leg when do kaneski. I never understood why. 
So I say that's different. When you block with the Marai, you're gonna punch with the left arm. So your left leg must be keeping in the same place to make power. For example, you can see my legs. Okay. See what the people used to do already do. They do like this. They do like this. Does it make sense? Okay, don't come with any bunkai and show me that's better. Feel the power. Go in front of a makiwara. Punch like this first, and then punch like this, and you tell me which one is stronger. That's how it should be. So, of course, for me, it's much stronger. This goes like this. And then you can it to you. Go to a makiwara and punch. Make this test, and then you come and tell me which one is strong. So, so that's how I train that. I look the strongest way. So, oh no, the bunkai is go pam pam. Come on, you're gonna hit the guy in the street like that. He's gonna kill you. So you must pam pam. You must make power. You must make power. And then people say, oh, but this isn't the same line. Great. But the idea is the same. You're in the same line, same to that, same line. Home, home, still using the oh, this way and no this way. I don't know if I'm clear enough. So this is the point I always say. I need, it must, it must make sense with my body to make the technique. And then a friend of mine, a big friend of mine, when I did this to him, he asked me, but what are you doing with your right arm? It doesn't matter. I can't do anything. I'm just walking my body. Pow, pow. I'm just walking my body. You, you guys try it and try to tell me which one is the stronger. Boom. And then you come and say no. But there's a.
Thank you, Sensei Martin, for the opportunity to be here. And, uh, and I mean, it's, uh, have a chance to, to explain uh, all the, the way I think. Of course, karate is much more uh, personal. When, when you're doing some seminar or training together, it's easy because you have all the guys, you know, to make this, uh, this connection and talk about it, uh, every technique. And uh, I'm just a guy that loves to train. If you guys invite me, I love to train, I love it. And I made really good friends through karate and even in other associations. And uh, I think uh, we must uh, separate inside the dojo and any competition that you guys want to make it. Like, train serious karate inside your dojo. And Take, take any competition you wanted, just see the rules and go forward, it's very important, okay? There's a lot of good, good guys and good instructors around the world, that's a lot of them. It's time to everyone, you know, gather together and be friends, and this is a fantastic opportunity. I wish that I had like 15,000 watching and maybe say, oh, this is no good, this is that, that, so... Anyway, thank you again, Sensei Mark, for the opportunity. Uh, I don't know everyone who's, who's there now and putting the, the glasses on. Uh, the idea is not teach karate again. The idea is just to you guys understand what I think about karate. As I said, I'm from Rio de Janeiro. Uh, during the 80s we had a lot of confrontations on the beach with many different martial arts. So it's a, uh, it's a different path that we had here. and. Uh, I love it, I love it to practice. I'm 54 years old and I practice every day and I have a great students, not students, all friends. And again, guys, thank you very much. I'm open for any question later. And I'm sorry I cannot read everyone because I can see without my glasses. <laughs> okay, Os, thank you very much again. Thank you, hope you like it, okay? Os, just go and try Makiwara the technique, okay? Let me know later, okay? Empi, please, go and try and tell me which one is better. Forget about Bunkai, think about your body. <laughs> your body only, okay? Os, 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 Os. Os, oh, sorry, sorry, I want to I wanna thank you my instructors, Maga and, and Pedro, for oh, letting me hit them, you know? They're all purple, they're all purple and red inside. And they're complaining over there, but that's fine. Okay, thank you guys. Oh. Oh. Any questions? I'll be here. I don't know what time it's gonna be out. It's Sensei Martin that's gonna it's gonna say that that's finished or not. Fala aí Felizardo, Marco C. Tuman Tuman. Thank you guys. If you have any questions, if you wanna say some bad names, you can say it, no problem. Uh, I can't see this uh, Arabic stuff. I'm gonna ask Murad, my friend. Yeah, Makiwara, Fernanda. Huh? Sorry. Who's... Murad, my friend. Miss you, my brother. Hope we meet again here in Rio, huh? Have a good time, man. Huh? So like next time, no karate, only surfing. <laughs> Os Rodrigues. Fala, Simão. Os Fidel Martinez, thank you very much. You guys got no questions? Scott Sensei is still there? Os Edward, thank you very much, guys. Thank you, thank you. Os, hey John, Os, thank you, John Freeman, thank you very much. Os Martin, that's a great family indeed. Ah, Gabriela, aí, vamos treinar, hein? Hoje tem treino à noite, hein? Hã? Alô pra galera do Brasil. É, mas, é. Murad, say hello, one. I said hello by Murad Sensei to everyone. Murad Sensei is already a Brazilian, Brazilian brother, like 
all like Alex, like Scott Sensei, you're all my friends at Suka Sensei and everyone that's you guys are always welcome to come to Rio de Janeiro. Anytime. Simon Sheik, thank you very much. I am tired. I'm too old for that. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for you're so kind. No, I think uh, I think it was it's too fast. I mean, I don't know. We got lost some time, and I don't like. Uh, I couldn't see, and you, 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 you sometimes get lost some time when you don't seminar like this, you know. So you got you 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 feel like wanna. You want to, you know, see all the ideas at once and uh, I hope you guys get some of the ideas. And always respecting others and then respecting all karate and the way they practice it. It's very important. I respect everyone, you know. So, it's very important. Open mind, it's good. My God, I'm asking who is this girl of a horse? Pedro Rio, there. <laughs> oh, Carlos, thank you. You're very kind, man. Very kind, thank you. No, yeah. Oh, Gabriel. Mora no Rio, vê se aparece no dojo, já está convidado, o dia que quiser é um prazer. Ficou, eu tenho que ver se ficou bom, não sei, né? não consigo enxergar. Está com hora aí, Pedro? Estou com hora aí? Tem, tudo bem. Está com hora, Pedro? Não, eu estou na reunião com três horas. Ah, não, só está respirado aqui. Obrigado, Magá. Hoje sim. 